Meg refuses to wear Invictus polo shirt to show a wrinkled outfit, making Gabriella Hurst's cells drop. Meg and Mark opted for another muted outfit yesterday as she sported a brown silky shirt and trousers to join Prince Harry at the Invictus Games. She opted for a monochrome ensemble with two tones of brown, while wearing 1,200 pound wide leg silk trousers from Gabriel Hurst, and paired the look with 165 pound oversized Miu Miu sunglasses and a 365 Dani blouse from New York based designer Le Jense. She let her hair down long and loose and sported a makeup look while boosting a height with 590 pound heels from Manolo Blanique. A source reported that Megan refused to wear Invictus branded t shirts during the event. She wants to be different in front of every camera. She should have worn the Invictus Games polo shirt at least once, surely. Remember when Megan complained she was only allowed to wear neutrals as a royal? Now she's free and unbothered. She wears this wrinkled, sad beige look. Also, why does she keep choosing over long trousers that crease so easily? Is she buying for the height she thinks she is? She wants to look long and lean like Princess Catherine, but that's of course impossible. She doesn't realise that the pants being too long actually makes her look shorter. In theory, since her legs are so slim, the wide leg pants should balance out the top. But the wrinkles and the break at the ankle add horizontal lines that look terrible. Same thing with the similar colours. It should make her look leaner, but it doesn't. It's clear that Megan has no friends or advisors to help her. It's hard to reckon that with her resources and access she still wears such ill-fitting outfits. She has this obsession with having a pants drag on the ground. It was the same thing with the white pants at Wimbledon and those dark pants she wore with some kind of plaid coat. All dragging across the ground, loose and wrinkled, are her brand. Of course, every time Meghan wears any outfit, the brands usually drop sales. While the J.Crew website crashed, Gabriella Hurst lost a large number of customers because of the Meghan effect. Meghan's dress style at the Invictus Games has caused many mixed opinions. Most people criticised her. One person said, well at least she didn't unbutton a shirt down to a navel, instead it's tugging. Another classy look. She's way too vain to purposely dress like this for negative attention. A second one added, My god, this pic shows how truly awful and ill-fitted these pants are. I legit don't think she's trolling. I think she genuinely believes that she looks good and stylish. Unbelievable. I mean, was no one really willing to say that to her? That these are way too long and baggy? Another commented, Everything's wrong with this picture. Extremely wide pants. Pants too long for a height, belt showing off a boxy and non-existent waist, colours are off and don't match, weird horse teeth grin. In addition, during the Invictus Games, Meghan wore Princess Diana's £17,000 Cartier watch, but swapped out a $62,000 Lorraine Schwartz pinky ring made with diamonds gifted from the Middle East for a $2,800 1972 tennis pinky ring from Chiffon & Co.